Hey, mate. My name's Yamada. Take your pants off. Hello again, I am Blunty. Something a little bit out of left field for you today, as far as what I usually tend to cover on my channel goes. As you can see, I've been joined by a very special guest. <laughs> This is Yamada from an anime known as Bee Gutter HK, and I'm going to warn you now before you go ahead and look up that anime if you don't know it already, it is a little on the adult side. It's not pornographic or anything, but it does deal with sex and sexuality and virginity and fairly sexually aggressive females. Now, for you anime fans out there already in the know, you will already recognize this as a Dakimakura, uh, otherwise known as a anime body pillow or waifu pillow, if you're feeling a little bit on the, um, the, the whole waifu pillow thing seems a little bit on the, um, derogatory side of things, but it depends on sort of how you're using it. It's like a lot of certain words out there. It depends on the context in which you use it, to, 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 you know, how, how offensive it is. You know, people who don't like anime fans will derogatorily refer to, you know, the girls they like in their favorite anime as their waifu, but, you know, it's, it's just kind of a term of veneer. It's just like saying that's my favorite character, kind of. And while, um, <clears throat> Yamada here, <laughs> I can't stop doing that. Um, well, Yamada here isn't quite my very favorite girl from uh, my very favorite anime. Um, I had a bit of an issue when AnimeDakimakura.com, which are the people who sent me this full review, came to me and said, hey, we'd like to send you one of these full review. Would you be interested? And I went, yeah, why not? I've never actually held one of these in my own two hands before, and it would be something kind of weird and interesting for the channel to look at. I mean, why not? So yeah, sure, send me one. And then they were like, okay, which one do you want? So I went to the site, and there were just so many. I mean, the choices. So many choices, unfortunately for me, for the purposes of using it in a video, quite a lot of my personal favorite choices of my favorite, you know, uh, anime characters, um, were rather less safe for YouTube than uh, uh, Yamada here. Uh, and I'm going to show you the other side of this pillow, because each, each pillowcase here, and um, these are quite long, by the way, they are, you know, full-size body pillows. Uh, the um, the reverse side of this is even more risque than some. I mean, this is just sort of her, you know her her top's open. She's sort of suggestive and and, and shy and embarrassed and you know excited. Uh, on the other side, she's in a slightly more state of undress. You still don't see anything. No nipples, no other bits. But this is the least risque uh, print I could find of a character that I knew that I liked from an anime that I enjoy. I'm going to show the other side. Okay, so there we go. Her panties are covering her most vital bit. Still, you know, not safe for work, but YouTube safe-ish. And her, her hair is covering her naughtiest bits there. Uh, I'm going to turn it back around now. Because, like I said, I've never experienced one of these things before. I wanted to sort of know what... The, I mean, I always knew what the attraction was. You know, you get a big, you know, almost life-size character printout model thing that you can hold and you can hug and you can prop up in the corner of your room. It's not like a, a poster on your wall or, you know, your desktop wallpaper or something. It's something physical that you can sort of, you know, just, just be, you know, touch. And it, it, the tactility aspect of, of this kind of thing uh, appeals to me because I'm a very tactile person. I like, I like textures and touching things and this is going weirdly off the rails. Anyway, so back to the actual review. We'll start with shipping. Shipping was nice and fast and efficient. The uh, pillow stuffing itself, and there are a couple of different versions of that you can get. I got the more premium one because, well, that's what they sent me. Obviously, they wanted me to have the premium experience. Um, but there are a couple of different pillow filling things. Pillow filling things? Is that even the word? <laughs> to stuff inside them. They're both quite soft. This is particularly soft. This is much softer than your average... Um, you know, bed, pillow. It's very, very soft, but it does spring back into shape each and every time. And I have I have slept with this thing. I mean, I haven't slept with this thing, but I have cuddled up with this thing in bed and, and you know, slept through the night with it. It's a surprisingly wonderful experience. Just, I, I've always wanted to try a body pillow, because some of you may know I have a bad back, and a lot of people say, just, well, sleep with a body pillow between your, your legs to try and help support, you know, get your back into a pro decent position. I thought, well... Two, two birds with one stone when this came along because so I never got around to just buying an ordinary body pillow uh, but yeah it's really comfortable to sleep with it's like you know cuddling up to a person except without all that yucky hair in your face and body heat making you really uncomfortable it's, it's actually almost better than a real person wow that's probably one of the loneliest things I've ever said so I was talking about ship oh man this for review I was talking about shipping comes uh, the shipping is nice and quick and efficient and all that sort of stuff that comes sort of in in nondescript black 
uh, plastic wrapped uh, boxes and bags and stuff so you're not embarrassed by it if it arrives and your parents are going hey what's this you know um, if you still live at home that is uh, and the pillow comes sort of deflated, crushed, the vacuum packed almost. So it's a very small, relatively small package compared to how big the entire thing is. But the most important thing about something like this, beyond finding the character that you want in a, in a pose that sort of is, is appropriate for what you need the pose to be, uh, is the quality of the thing. And as I said, the, this pillow stuffing is very, very, very good. I mean, really, really nice pillow stuffing. Second thing to worry about is the material it's printed on. And there are a few different versions of that available as well. I got uh, the premium one. I can't remember what they called it specifically. I'll put it on the screen for you. Here somewhere. Uh, but there are other options as well. Uh, but the, the, you know, the premium one they sent me here is very, very smooth. Um, satiny. Um, but not quite as slippery or shiny as satin, but very, very fine, very smooth, very lovely to, to, to touch, uh, really. Uh, printing, vitally the printing uh, with this kind of thing. You want it to look good. You don't want to, you know, if you're going to have your face right next to it as you can happen, you don't want to look over and see, uh, you know, misaligned printing or blurry lines or the, you know, dots from the printing or anything like that. I'm going to show you a, an extreme macro. Of, of her eye, just so you can really get an idea about the quality of the printing and the fineness of the material and everything. It really is very, very nice. I was very impressed by it. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, to be completely honest with you. For, for you know, the cheesy little item, like a, you know, anime Dekamakuda pillow, I was expecting the printing to be okay, but not fantastic, but it is fantastic. The other thing to be concerned about, of course, if you are cuddling up with this thing in bed or on the couch or whatever, is the zip. And sorry, my darling, I'm gonna have to turn you upside down for a sec. Um, and I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but the zip is um, sort of sewn so it's almost internal um, and the zip puller thingamabob is sort of very small and no sharp edges or point or anything and you can sort of tuck that inside there as well. Again, probably can't see what I'm doing on camera, but yeah, point is, when I was cuddling up with this thing and squidging it between my legs and stuff, uh, the zip was never a problem, it never, it never poked into me. You know, I can't I never noticed the zip on the bottom there, as you can see. I can hold that up for you. Um, it, it, it's basically a, a seamless, well not seamless, there's a the seam there obviously, but a, um, the, none of the zip is exposed. So you're never rubbing against it directly or anything like that on your, on your feet or your ankles or whatever. So very, very smart and comfortable design there. Let me sit you back down. Come on. I know your legs are bent in a funny way, but it's just for the camera. There you go. So yeah, in general, a very, very pleasant surprise with my first anime um, Dakimakura. I almost forgot it. It's a very odd name. My, my anime body pillow, my anime waifu pillow. Although, strictly speaking, again, Yamada isn't really my waifu. She, um, she's a very, very charming character. If you haven't seen B Gutter HK, you should watch it. Um, it's, it's very hard not to kind of fall a little bit in love with her. She's a little bit weird, a little bit wacky, but oh, so, you know, she's just, she's a very charming character. By the by, the time you get to the end of the anime, uh, you really feel uh, sort of a deep affection and attachment to her, and you're sort of really rooting for her in the end. In the beginning, she's sort of like this incredibly sexually aggressive uh, teenage girl who makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable because you sort of side with the, you know, you, you relate to the boy. She's targeted a little bit, and, you, and she starts, you know, you're a little bit uncomfortable. But by the time you get to the end, very very charming, aren't you? You're charming. Yes, I'm charming. This is why I'm not an anime voice actor. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> watching an anime where, where the lead female characters go, Yes, how are you going? I'm some sort of... <laughs> why does my accent get incredibly more Australian when I'm doing that voice? I'm very Australian. I sound like an American trying to do an Australian accent when I do that voice. <laughs> Good day, mate. My name's Yamada. Take your pants off! It's getting worse. <laughs> right. So, if you're intrigued, if you want to get one of your own, I have got a discount code that the AnimeDakamakura.com, no, AnimeDakamakuraPillow.com. Better get that right. I'll put it on screen, of course, and in the down below area. I'll make sure I put it in her down below area. Wow, there's some context free quote for you there. <laughs> I'll put it in her down below area. <clears throat> AnimeDakamakuraPillow.com If you use the discount code which is now on your screen above Swap that for me darling Above 
yeah, but his head there, you will get 10% off. I am not sure how long that discount code will last because I'm already a little bit late getting this video up. It really should have been up like a week, just a, well, not a week, just a month ago, really. But I've had so much travel and all this. My life's gone to just completely unpredictable mess. And terrific fun for the most part, lots of travel and stuff, but it means I, I'm quite behind schedule on some things that I should have been making videos about. Like me! <laughs> so. If you are curious, I would act sooner rather than later with that discount code there. I'll get you 10% off. I don't get any kickback or, or you know, or, or special deals. I don't get anything for you using that code. That's just so I think they can track how many people bought, you know, stuff from their site based on this incredibly strange review that I'm doing. <laughs> They do have, by the way, other products on their site. If you're after something a little more subtle, then they do do cushions as well. Um, they also do mouse pads uh, with the same kind of printing. Uh, I haven't got a mouse pad, so I can't speak to the quality of the mouse pad or the printing or anything. Maybe I'll ask them to send me one out next. Uh, they probably won't send me anything because I took way too long getting this video out, like I said. <laughs> I'll have to buy one myself. Um, but yeah, quite good quality uh, items, as far as I can tell so far. First impressions from uh, Yamada here. Oh, she's so soft. Mm. 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 I'm weeding you out. I'm weeding myself out a little bit, quite honestly. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and pop into my down below area. Well, down below my down below area. Down, the, the, her down below area is where the links are, and then in my down below area is where you put the comments and stuff in. Why don't you pop down there and tell me what's your opinion on the old waifu pillow idea? I was surprised how much I liked sort of just cuddling up with it. It's very comforting. Uh, surprisingly comforting. I mean, not just because it's got a girl printed on it in. in various states of undress, um, just because it's really, really lovely just to sort of cover with. More so than a regular pillow, I think because it's squishier. Um, come on, I can try and sit you up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blanty, and I will catch you next time. Good night, mate! My name's Yamada!